hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel hi if you're new here my name is mercy Derry. i'm a cameron based content creator i film videos on food fashion and lifestyle and i also do vlog guys so for my oldies but goodies thank you guys so much for always and always clicking to watch and support my videos i really really appreciate it like i don't take you guys for granted at all thank you thank you thank you so recently i took a trip to Nkonsamba, okay and that trip was about uh, a wedding a youtuber was getting married so i traveled with some of my other youtube colleagues to go and support our girls i have a series for my trip to Kosamba, which i'm going to leave somewhere here so that you catch up okay it's really really interesting and you don't want to miss out on any of those videos they're really really good so um yeah i spent a weekend i know i spent just a minute but i was able to gather a few things that i wish to share with you guys here just in case you decide to uh, visit Kosamba or decide to relocate to Kosamba anytime you want to so i'm here to share certain things on that and if you're interested in knowing what i have to say about Kosamba, then please keep watching Alright guys, so before we start with this video, please if you are new to the channel, do it to hit the subscribe button. It is absolutely free and also give this video a thumbs up and yeah, share this video as well. Okay guys, so before we start with the main points about this video, I just want to share something brief about Nkonsamba, okay? So Konsamba is a city in the western region of Cameroon and is particularly in the Mongo department found in the littoral region of Cameroon. Konsamba is the center for the farming of palm oil, coffee and bananas and Konsamba is between two mountains the Maninguba Massif and the Mount Lonako Mountain and also Mbo is the locally use language in Nkonsamba so you need to take note of these important details of Nkonsamba okay the first thing you need to consider when visiting Nkonsamba is the fact that Nkonsamba is a French speaking town in Cameroon in the western region Sha. but then people understand English so if you are dumb in French like that you can also make your way through you know staying in Konsamba because they also understand English but French is the main language spoken by the inhabitants of Konsamba. The second thing you need to note about Konsamba is the fact that these guys are so friendly. To be honest it's like they can identify a stranger <laughs> because I remember when we got there we didn't know our way around so the bike men that we took they were so friendly with us they were like okay no you have to go like this you have to go this way these guys are so so hospitable and that made our stay in Konsamba a happy one because we were not scared of you know uh, being robbed or something these guys were so so gentle with us they were so kind to us and really really hospitable so that is a good one <laughs> another thing you have to consider you know when you visit Konsamba is the fact that Konsamba is cold remember I said Konsamba is surrounded by two mountains and that leaves the town of Konsamba a cold weather situation <laughs> that makes sense so you want to make sure that when coming to Konsamba please come with some warm clothes like your sweater your pullover or anything that that will keep you warm the weather of Konsamba is so chilling the weather is good guys and if you have ever been to boya i feel like they have a similarity or something like the boya weather and that of Konsamba are the most beautiful weathers you can find here in cameroon so as much as it is cold for people who are you know if you are not a cold weather person always come with your pullover but for me i enjoy the weather sha all like the weather in Bamenda. Bamenda has has a very harsh weather i'm sorry if i'm saying this for my Bamenda people <laughs> but anyways that is just it another thing about Nkonsamba which i really love is the fact that they have good roads oh my god their roads are so so good unlike the one we have here in Cameroon potholes everywhere <laughs> it can even spoil your car or cause accidents but the one in Konsamba they are 
really good their roads are good and yeah that makes the place a very conducive place for you to stay next thing is the fact that the environment is super clean i mean you will not perceive any awful smell around the environment is clean their roads are clean no liters around the road everywhere is sparkling i think that can be compared to limbe the environment is so clean guys and yeah it makes it really good for you to stroll around take a walk without perceiving any awful smell and yeah another thing i like to share with you guys is the fact that they have affordable houses for rent and if you are relocating to Konsamba, you will not have problem of you know high rents when you have to rent a house so i feel like it's really really good that you can get an apartment or a studio or a room for very very affordable prices and yeah why would i not want to relocate to to Konsamba? because yeah guys in duala hey don't kill your heads <laughs> they will murder you with house rent so i feel like it's a really really good place where you can settle because yeah they will not chop off your salary <laughs> because of house rent so it's really good another thing to know is that their food are always fresh and they are very 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 affordable guys when we were coming back from Konsamba I remember showing you in one of my vlogs guys we had breakfast and that breakfast as compared to me buying that breakfast here in Cameroon it will not cost cost me less than 2,500 francs and that whole bowl of food cost just 1,000 francs guys I was like wow this is good all of us there we had a plate of food for 1000 francs and it was so much we had spaghetti we had all sorts of different meats okay so their food is very very affordable and they are always fresh and clean and oh my god ha ah, see if you locate to to Konsamba, you don't have any problem with food at all like Full stops are very, very, very affordable. Another thing to know is the fact that, guys, there is no trafficking because I'm about like, or like Duala. Hey, if you are going somewhere and you have an appointment for 1 p.m., I'm just referring now to Duala. Please leave the house at 11 a.m. <laughs> because the traffic can make you lose your appointment. But in Kansamba, no traffic at all. If you have an appointment for 1, you can even leave your house for 12.50 in 10 minutes time you are where you are so there's no traffic i did not experience any traffic in konsamba okay and that makes life really really easy to catch up with appointments events and meetings and yeah another major thing to know about konsamba is the fact that there are no mosquitoes oh my god like i could sleep without having to stab my my body slap my hand or you know consider covering my body like there environment was mosquito free there's no need for nets for mosquitoes okay like i said earlier with you know when you have a dirty environment it invites mosquitoes so just imagine Konsamba being clean and everything of course there'll be no mosquitoes there i noticed that there are no mosquitoes in Konsamba and i was so happy and that prevents you from being sick of malaria so the next thing you need to know about Konsamba is the fact that they have affordable transport fare within the town what I, what do i mean by that like unlike here in duala i don't know why i just keep comparing konsamba and duala <sighs> i don't know but i'm just speaking based on me based here in duala and i know how transport fare in duala like within duala can be so expensive but in konsamba it is very very cheap and it is very very affordable guys when i ask the bike man how much is my bill you'll be like 200 yeah in duala the price about 800 francs and I was like, wow, wow. <laughs> the next thing you need to know about Konsamba is that, guys, there's little or no taxi. In fact, stay, I didn't see any taxi in Konsamba during my stay in Konsamba. Like, I don't understand. They were just bikes, only bikes. You cannot sap your sap. <laughs> there are times when you sap your sap and you want to take a taxi. There are no taxis. I didn't see any. Some of the bike men told, told us that we could get a taxi, but to be honest, guys, I didn't see any taxi. So I feel like there's little or no taxi in Konsamba. Even when we went to the park, no taxi. So bike is the dominant means of transportation within 
the town of Konsamba. If you consider visiting Konsamba or relocating to Konsamba, just know that there are no taxes or the taxes are scarce. <laughs> so if you are a joker person or an enjoyment minister or ministress, <laughs> just know that places are closed in the early hours in the evening. Guys, I remember when we went for our girls traditional wedding 9 p.m. because we had to leave the traditional wedding a little bit earlier because where we were lodging they closed the gates at 8 p.m. so but they gave us an hour of grace so we had to leave there as early as possible so that we don't so that we have a place to spend the night you guys get so when we left the traditional wedding guys everywhere was closed like unlike here in, in Douala by 9 p.m <laughs> that's when we are getting ready to go out if you are an enjoyment person and you're thinking of okay maybe i want to you know get groove after 9 p.m 10 you're wasting your time please just go and look at your place and sleep if you want to groove be just groove your groove within seven six seven eight p.m okay because by nine everywhere is closed the only people you see outside are the bike men who are ready to take you to where you are going so that is something that Ooh, for people for enjoyment ministers like us we will not find it funny <laughs> because we like to go out i like to go out okay so if you consider visiting in Kotsaba and you think that okay you want to groove your groove after 9 p.m mama you're wasting your time just be sleeping just go and look at your place and sleep because by then everywhere is closed so that's something i noticed about Kotsaba, which is a good thing but as well for me mm -hmm. nah <laughs> It's not a good thing for me at all. <laughs> all right, guys. So that is everything I thought I share with you guys. If you consider visiting Konsamba, and yeah, you should take all of this into consideration. Okay, if you have ever visited uh, Konsamba before and you feel like sharing your experience here, some things to consider when visiting Konsamba or relocating to Konsamba, please drop them down in the comment section. Like I said, I spent just. A weekend in Kosamba and of course I can't you know know everything at the at the same time yeah guys that's all there is to this video I hope you guys enjoy watching please if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to me if you haven't already and drop down video suggestions you want me to film for you and I will make sure I do that okay thank you guys so much stay blessed stay safe and I hope to see you all in my next video I love you stay blessed Mwah. bye